is Steve Fair. Would you welcome him to our show today? Hello, Steve. Good to see you. Steve, I saw you win uh, before you turned pro, really, and uh, king of bowling here in, in our area. I've watched you bowl quite a few times on uh, Sunday mornings. I've been on uh, the show a few times, and um, I think that's helped me quite a bit in my uh, turn towards the professional ranks. Where are you from in the Cincinnati area? Uh, I live uh, about 10 minutes from Western Hills. I actually live in Delhi. When did you turn pro? Well, I've been out on a tour now about 15, 16 months. I've got to tell you something about this young man. In uh, the Kessler Classic Tournament in Indianapolis, he beat Earl Anthony, who has been listed as the greatest bowler of all time, and Steve beat him by one pin. <laughs> and then three weeks later in Chicago, Steve won the Brunswick Memorial World Open, and you now have two national titles. You wonder, you know, you see these guys and you think, well, they must be from someplace else. He's from here. Tell me about the bowling tournament you're having over at the uh, Super Bowl. Well, what it actually is, it's an invitational regional tournament. So uh, all of the top players from our area, from the five-state region, will be entered. So we have quite a few big names on hand, and uh, there'll be all of the top players from the area. So it sort of correlates with the area covered by our show, Indianapolis, Columbus, and around that area, and sure. uh, Kentucky, West Virginia, they'll all be coming in here. They sure will. How many are you expecting, and when does it start, and so forth? Okay, well, there will, there will actually be 64 bowlers in all, and we will start at 9 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. And there'll be a little break after that. Then we'll bowl five games additional at 2 o'clock. And um, after that, there's another break. They have a pro-am scheduled at 6, 8, and 10 o'clock tomorrow night where the people can come and bowl with the pros. And um, that's uh, the first day's competition. The next day, the top 12 players from uh, Saturday will go ahead and bowl head-to-head -head match play. And the final five bowlers after that's all over will be bowling on the televised finals, uh, which Channel 5 is carrying. Oh, that's great. This is at the Super Bowl in Erlanger, Kentucky. Correct. Well, I think it's great that you're having it. Do you have a bowling ball with you? Sure do, Bob. Never go anywhere without it, huh, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> we have some we're giving away from Bud Boskin's Fairfield Lanes up in Fairfield, Ohio. But I looked at one the other day and doesn't have any holes in it. You have a little bit of trouble throwing them without the holes. You have to have it <laughs> drilled for you personally, don't you? Right. The best way to have it done is to go to a... Uh, pro shop, have somebody that really knows the game, knows how to fit balls properly, take care of you, and they can do a very good yeah, job. Yeah, I was teased about that. I know that because I had one drilled up for, for me because I got a funny thumb, and uh, it worked out well. What What is your... Uh, I'm weird all over. We come right down to it. It's a Neanderthal thumb, you know. Uh, Steve, what's your grip on here? You have the one, two, three, four holes, right? Right. I have a little bit more of a unique grip than the average bowler. I used to have a little bit of hand trouble on this back index knuckle, mm -hmm. and so I use an extra hole uh, for my grip. Most people uh, throw the fingertip grip, use the um, middle finger and the ring finger, along with the thumb. And uh, my grip's a pretty normal grip. I use a 4 and 9 sixteenths, 4 and 5 eighths for my, uh, my two standard holes. How do you place your hand into, the, into those holes? I actually lay it right in here like this, then insert the index finger and then the thumb. Now, hold it up as if you were going to bowl. And I'd like to see, we can stand up. Okay. Right? I'd like right to there. see, because uh, I notice that you, sometimes you'll start on this side of the alley, and all of a sudden the ball will go whoo, right over there. And when I put right. mine down, it goes straight in one direction or the other, but never whoo, like that. Right. That's actually uh, the big difference there, is your ball going a little bit straighter than ours, maybe hooking a little bit more, is knowing how to lift the ball. So what you actually will do is you swing the ball here. And as you get here, okay, the, uh -huh. watch out, Rob. Okay, the wrist and the fingers, as you're making a turn right here, actually, I'll show you with my hand, a uh, wrist and turn uh, like that. At one time, actually, in parts, the lift on the ball is what makes the ball turn. Yeah, I have, I'm like a bowling owner, a bowling alley's owner, a bowling lane, as they don't like mm -hmm. to be called alley's uh, owner's nightmare, because when I throw it, I throw it halfway down before it hits. You go, wham, like that. And uh, you can see the guy saying, oh, go, there goes the floor, you know. Right, I think they've thrown a few people out for doing that. Yeah, they have, as a matter of fact. That's the reason I got to good, be good friends with the guy that owned an alley. That way I, I'm allowed back in. But why, and, and I'm, a, I'm considerably larger than you physically. Yes. Yet you can throw a ball a whole lot harder than I can. Why? It's training for that particular sport. Um, I know you're pretty well versed in all athletics, but um, we do uh, particular exercises just to keep our, our arms and our hand real strong. And it's very natural. It's the pendulum swing that allows you to pick up the momentum and, and make the, uh, the force of the ball going down the lane. So it's, it's actually it's what we do all the time. It's what we train specifically for. And, you know, that's what makes it easy for us. It's natural. Is there any danger of maybe if you bowl too much, like walking down the street and suddenly you look on one side of your view is like this with the arm real long and the other side kind of small? Not too likely. Because <laughs> you ever notice something? Uh, Jimmy Connors, you ever notice him? His forearm on his hitting hand is much bigger than the other forearm. 
I had to find something wrong with him. But uh, uh, I, I guess I guess it's just a matter of practice and exercise and uh, concentration. Do you look at the pins when you bowl, or you look at those stars or triangles on the floor? The triangles, which are uh, called the arrows, that's uh, the most normal spot on the lanes. Which one you hit for? Well, it, it varies on the different houses. We travel all across the country. I would say uh, normally it would be the second or third arrow would be the most common. There is a difference between lanes. When you go back and forth, sometimes you're better in one than you are in the other? Well, right. Everybody has a, a favorite shot, and that's, that's the great thing about me. The last half of the year, my shot was pretty much out there on the lanes, the more inside shot, the third arrow. So um, I just I like playing a little bit deeper inside where you can send the ball a little bit, have a little bit of area, and uh, that's been good for me. Good. Well, it's the Super Bowl in Erlanger this weekend, the uh, regional invitational tournament, and guess what? Part of the money that they got to pay to play is going to come to the Christmas fund, and I thank you for that, Steve. Hope you have a good time. Good place to stay. We'll be right back. Thank you. Thank you.